Hey, look at him. He's so hot. Yeah, he's so sexy. What the? Why does he have a pink phone? Uh, weirdo, let's get out of here. I can hear you, jerks. I'm Haruto Sautome. I'm 27. This kind of thing happened to me countless times. I like pink. What's wrong with that? That was a pretty big guy. I looked manly, but that was just on the surface. I grew up with two older sisters, so naturally, I like girly stuff. My dad, he was the quiet type. He didn't seem to care that I like girly stuff. That's probably why it turned out like this. Oh, it's my sister. They came up with a new menu again? My parents and my sisters own this cafe in the city. They send me pictures of their new menu items every now and then. What do you think? Not bad. Not bad. Looks great. If it tastes good, I think it's perfect. It's cute. I like it. So, what did I do for work? Well, morning. Morning, Saotome. Hey, Kawaii. Hey, the article you took part of last month? It's getting a lot of positive feedback. Congratulations! Thank you! You and the editor. You two are the only ones that are nice to me. Thanks! <laughs> sure thing! I think you're really good at this. I started working at Sekafushi Publishers about four years ago. I worked at the department that was in charge of this girly magazine. I got paid to write about the stuff I like. It was the best job ever! But since it was a girly magazine, most of my colleagues were girls. Actually, I was the only guy there. When I first came here, everyone stared at me in disbelief. But Emma Kawaii, she was really nice to me right from the start. We became good friends. Sometimes we went out into the city together to look for ideas for our articles. So this is what it feels like to have a friend. I've never had a friend before, so this is nice. Most people got used to having me around, but not everyone. Ugh. This is a magazine for young women. What's wrong with your editor? You don't belong here. You probably know nothing about the latest trends. Hey, stop being rude. I beg to differ. I like this stuff. And I try my best to keep up with the latest trend. Look, I get it. I'm sure you say the same thing back at your department. I know exactly why you're here. You want to get with girls. That's why you asked to be transferred here. Uh, really? What? No! Why is she doing this to me? Girls, that's enough. It's time to start the meeting. Ugh. Did you hear what I said? Get him out of here before he tries something. That's enough, Kitsume. It's time to start the meeting. But... Don't listen to her. Forget about her, okay? I know how good you are at this. I look up to you. Thank you. I really liked it here, but... I still had a long way to go. But at least I had a friend. But still, everyone else still had their doubts about me. Especially Kitsume. She was causing me a headache. I was just starting out here, so they didn't let me write articles yet. I gotta keep working harder if I want to write articles. No worries, I'll help you. You got this. Thank you. How can you be so naive? Just watch out for him. He's just trying to get with you. Itsume was annoying, but I did my best to ignore. Kawaii and I focused on finding new ideas for our magazine. We spent hours researching what people were into these days. It was fun, and it helped me forget about my troubles. I really love this job! This place is so cute! Yeah, this is so much fun. I'm really enjoying this. But then one day, something happened. Morning! Huh? What the? Morning, Sao Tome. What's up? Did you read this? It's the latest issue of Robubu the Traveling Magazine. 
This cafe over here? This is my parents' place! What? Your parents own this place? No way! That's amazing! Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They renovated an old brick warehouse. It's a bit pricey, but it's really popular. And this woman here? This is my sister. You didn't know about this? Not at all. Why didn't they tell me? You never asked. You're gonna find out anyways. Ugh, jerk. Your parents' place is so pretty. The building, the interior, the menu. It's all so cute. <laughs> Thank you. This isn't a paid advertisement page, is it? No, can't be. If it was, they wouldn't have used four pages on it. If anything, the editor probably went to them. Wow, amazing! Why don't we write an article about it? His parents own this place, right? That would be great! But, uh, is that allowed? After work... Hey, sis, just curious. If my editor wants to write an article about your place, will you agree to an interview? I'm a family member, so I thought it wasn't allowed, but... The editor said it would be fine as long as it's what the readers want. It might take a few months to plan this, but still, this is pretty exciting! Hey, so Tome. Ugh, Kitsume? Why is she here? What does she want? Uh, hi. What are you doing here? I was wrong about you. I'm sorry, I didn't believe you. Huh? I was wrong to doubt you. I'm really sorry. You're the real deal. What the? What's going on here? Before this, I used to work at the Roboboo magazine. And you know, the cafe they did an article about. Oh, I'm a huge fan. Wait, what? I already met your parents, and I didn't even know about it. What are the odds, right? We're meant to be together. Uh, uh, I don't know. You were just a customer there, right? But I talked a lot with your parents. Yeah, but they were just... Look, this isn't just some coincidence. I mean, we work together. You get that? Huh? What are you talking about? We're meant to be together. <laughs> Let's get married. What? Uh, hold on. I can't! I like Kawaii! Huh? What the? Kawaii? Um, I was just passing by. I, um... Ugh. Screw it. Might as well say it. Kawaii, I really enjoyed spending time with you. Will you go out with me? Um, me too. I'd like that. Yes! Hold on! Why her? You can't be serious. You just want to go out with me because of my parents' cafe. Why the hell would I pick you over her? After all those mean things you said to me. Oh, I... Okay, listen. Herto, I was surprised to see him too when he first came to our department, but he knows what he's talking about. And he knows what he truly likes. What about you? Maybe you should take a good long look at yourself. Oh. After that, things went back to normal. Actually, better than normal. Kitsune stopped messing with me, so... It was such a relief. Kitsune, I saw your proposal. It's not good enough. You know why? You lack passion. If you want to make it here, you've got to step it up. Look at Saotome. You can learn a thing or two from him. Okay. Hope she'll be okay. Not sure. It's all up to her now. Knowing the latest trends isn't good enough. You gotta have passion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear ya. Anyways, you've been doing well, Saotome. You got real talent for this. Thank you. Apparently, the editor went through something similar when she was just starting out. That's why she was so supportive of me. A few months later, she started letting me write actual articles. After that, my colleagues started being nice to me. You can't choose what you like or what you don't like. 
It just doesn't work like that. So if you like something, be true to yourself and just follow your heart. Like he said, if you like something, be true to yourself and follow your heart. What did you think? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.